the bat, you're probably really confused. On Saturdays, I post normal lifestyle videos and not vlogs, but I, <coughs> perfect timing, um, and I am extremely sick. So, well, I'm not sick, okay. It's hard to explain, I'm very, very dizzy. But I decided I still wanted to do a video for you guys. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys in vlog style because that's just a lot easier for me, especially when I'm sick. Um, and it's a lot easier to edit. How I edit my thumbnails, and I'm so excited because a lot of y'all have been asking for it. I'm just gonna start. Oh, actually, I wanted to show you this since this is a vlog. In yesterday's vlog, I ordered a bunch of slime supplies and things, and the Daiso clay and polymer clay are here. This is my iMac, and this is where I make all of my thumbnails. I'm just on my desktop right now. Here's my little mouse right there. My desktop, I just have random things, but I always take a screenshot from a video. I'm actually gonna be doing the thumbnail for this video. This is the screenshot. I'm gonna be turning this into a thumbnail. The website I use is called PicMonkey and it's free. There's a version that you can buy that has like a lot of other stuff. You can click edit, touch up, design, or collage. Collage is really cute. But I only do that for like really crazy videos where I have a full energy because collages are really hard to do. I just do edit because that's editing a photo. It has a bunch of options for my desktop and I go down and I find the screenshot, this one, and then I click choose. And now I can just edit it like this so it takes a while to load. But now I can edit it and I have all these options so let's get started. You're gonna have all of these little options. So this is basic edits. It says at the top what each one is. Effects. And there's just like a whole bunch of stuff. So first we start in basic edits because this picture's kind of dull, it's kind of dark. So I go into exposure every single time. This is, I do my thumbnails the same every time. And I just up the brightness, highlights, shadows, contrast and a little more brightness. I like my thumbnails to be really bright and it kind of looks like that and you're like, oh, that's really ghosty. But then I go into colors and I saturate it a whole lot, but then that's too orange. So then I turn the temperature down. My hair still looks really orange in this, so I'm gonna turn the saturation down just a little bit. Probably gonna have to put something on that because my hair looks really orange. Um, it's not that orange. This is this is nice. It's so nice and white. I actually really like this. Uh, I'm just gonna go to effects, which is the next button, and I'm gonna scroll down, and I'm gonna go to Warhol down here, and I'm gonna basically this is what it does. It, um, it you can pick colors, and it can make the whole picture that color. But I'm gonna do white white on white, and then I'm gonna fade it out, and then I'm going to, I'm going to add a little bit of the white onto my hair, because my hair looks really orange in this, and I don't want it to look so orange. Then I go back to colors and saturate. I think it looks good. Next is the little text overlay things that you can put on the screen. The words I'm gonna put for mine, I'm gonna put how I do my thumb. That's too long. I guess I guess that works. Go to my text first. I use the text Antonio because it's just I think it's a pretty cool one. Here, I set my camera down just for a little bit so I could type. Text looks best in all caps, so I always have all caps. This helps so much. I'm gonna make my text big because you want it to be big so then your thumbnail really pops. And then over here is the colors. I'm just gonna put it white. And then this is the thing that only I can do because I paid for it, so I'm gonna go to effects and type, you can pick a type. So I pick drop shadow all the time. I turn the distance off so then it doesn't look like, here look, this is what distance looks like. So I want it to be just like right behind it. And then I bring up the intensity and then I bring up horizontal bl and vertical blur so that the 
black outline is bigger. So now my text pops even more because it's super, super um, outlined with black. So you can really, really see it. I'm going to make it a little smaller just because there's going to be so many texts. Um, a little smaller, actually. I just don't know where to put it because I really love this picture. And I don't want, like, to not be able to see the picture very well. Well, I'm going to put the how right here for now. And up here, see that little, there's a little thing at the top. And you can make your text go sideways. I like putting my text sideways. It just looks better I think. And a little trick is instead of having to do all of that again, especially if you're doing a lot of words and stuff, you can just go to how back and oh and right click duplicate text and then just rewrite it, which is I think is really cool. How I edit how I edit my I can make this one pretty small because like it's just a my thumbnails. There you go. Um, so thumbnails, I want to be pretty big, somewhere near the bottom, like, like around here, I guess. Um, now I'm just gonna play around with these words and get them in the spot that I want them in. How I edit. Now for the fun part. So I'm going into overlays and I'm going into the top option, geometric, and I'm clicking this little rectangle so there's a lot of options there's a there's a more boxy rectangle and then like a round one I'm choosing the round one because I think it looks cute rectangle first I'm gonna pick the color I want which I always go for this um, this light pink it's really pretty it is FFCC -E, e so if you guys want this exact color that's the name of it. So it's just really, really pretty. But then I right click and you click send to back. And then it can go behind your text. Also, I'm doing right click duplicate overlay for like pretty much everything. I, and I think I'm gonna make this one blue actually. There you go. Come on. It's not letting me right click. There you go. Duplicate overlay, send to back. Thumbnails are kind of like in art. I, I didn't do my thumbnails for like a year in into YouTube. After doing it for a long time, I got really fast at them. I can now do them in like 15 minutes. Rearranging is a big part of thumbnails. Like most of my thumbnail workness is just literally rearranging stuff. I'm getting it perfect. Most of the time I'll also add like a little emoji. Today, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna add an emoji. One of the last steps is to go to crop. This is down at basic edit. Thumbnail measurements have to be 1280 and 720. If they're not those measurements, then they're gonna have black bars at the top of your thumbnail. Taking this crop effect. On PicMonkey, there's a little option down here where you can make the picture look bigger. Obviously, it won't actually change the size of it. I like to see what it's gonna look like in thumbnail size, so and see if like you can read it. I'm gonna go to export, and usually you do all this stuff to save it. I just do right click most of the time and save it as um, whatever it's called. Click save. So now it should be right on my desktop. And now this is my thumbnail, and now I can just upload it to my video. So I hope you guys like this video. PicMonkey is a really, really, really good app. I'm sorry if this video was kind of like downbeat or lazy. I just am very sore and tired. But yeah, if you guys were ever thinking about doing thumbnails, but you don't have like a program and you don't have enough money to buy a really good one, use PicMonkey and no, not sponsored, but it's really, really good. And they give you so many options that they, you don't have to pay, which I'm really impressed with. And it was really easy for me to learn when I first um, started doing thumbnails, so yeah. The shout out of the day goes to Charlie underscore and Buddy on Instagram. That's their username. Make sure that you follow them on Instagram. Yeah, I really hope you learned something from this video. But that really is how I do my thumbnails each time. I will see you guys next week. Oh my gosh, by the way, my birthday is in six days from when you're watching this. That's so soon, which means that my meet and greet is in eight days. What? <laughs> 
I'm sorry, I'm, again, I'm really, really sorry if this video wasn't amazing. I just, I feel really terrible. But I will see you guys next week.